previous video, we looked at creating our bullets and we called the touches began method. So we should now have a shooting ship that shoots at aliens. So the next thing we need to do is to increase our ship movement so we can actually move out of the way of the aliens or actually get some of those aliens that are on the outer edge. So similar to the touches began, we're going to be using the touches moved. So again, if you type touches move, don't type override, just type touches move, it should pop up and then we can create that method. We're going to use this touches. So this records, records all the touches um, after they move. Okay, so from here, we're going to say or touch in touches. So we're cycling through that list of touches. We're going to set the location to equal the touch location in itself, so inside the view that we're currently playing with. And then we're going to get the new location, or we call CG point. We're going to define an X and a Y. So location dot X, so the X position from here, and location dot Y. Okay, the location Y, we're actually going to use the position from the shooter. So let's go for ship dot position dot Y. Then we're going to move it because we don't want the ship to go up and down. We just want to keep it in the same position. Let move equal SK action dot move to new location. And the duration that it's going to take to do it is 0 0.1 seconds. So it's going to go pretty quick. From there, we can get our ship and we can run our action that we created. So if we run this now, you should be able to click and drag your ship from side to side. Okay, it will be a little bit of a conflict with that tapping, but it's not an issue if you're shooting too many bullets. At least you can still move to the edge to get those last aliens on the edge. So that is improving our ship movement. The next thing we're going to look at is how we can do our collision detection actually start to kill some of these aliens.